long gone are Simon Cowell's snark and tiny t-shirts. As well as Paula Abdul's. Well. Paulaisms. But we'll never forget some of the singers, and not so much singers, who once competed on American Idol, like season 4 winner Carrie Underwood. In honor of the hit reality TV show's finale on April 7, 2016. Read on to find out what Carrie and more contestants from past seasons are up to now related, the best diva moments from American Idol season 4 winner Carrie Underwood is an undisputed AI success story. The girl from Muskji, Oklahoma, had almost given up on singing. But she auditioned with a cover of Tiffany's Could Have Been for the show, and the rest is history. Carrie's debut album, Some Hearts, went platinum seven times and she hasn't slowed down since. Seemingly making a habit of collecting awards and endorsements on her way to becoming the biggest AI earner of all time. She married professional hockey player Mike Fisher in 2010. And on February 27, 2015, they welcomed their first child. Son Isaiah related, Carrie's best looks of all time Chris Daughtry was a big hit in season 5 of American Idol. He made it all the way to the final four. But was eliminated on May 10. 2006 related, Teen Idols, Where Are They Now? Chris Daughtry has worked steadily in music since his stint on American Idol. In 2000, he wed Deanna Daughtry, with whom he shares four children. Chris is reportedly the third most successful Idol alum in terms of record sales. Coming in behind Kelly Clarkson and Carrie Underwood. In March 2016, he portrayed Judas in Fox's The Passion Live musical event O. The Hermanity. During season 6, the famously well coiffed Sanjay Amalakar got by with middling talent, boyish charm, and by keeping the voting public guessing about what was going to happen next with his hair. Sanjay Ah's luck eventually ran out. And he finished 7th in the competition. Sanjay Amalakar parlayed his public appeal into a deal to pen a memoir and appear on the reality TV show I'm a Celebrity. Get me out of here. The now, 26, year, old was reportedly working as a bartender in New York City's East Village up until April 2014. And, the horror. He now sports a shaved head and a beard. In 2015, he took to social media to post a cover of Disclosure's Latch as well as photos of himself in a recording studio, where he's been working on an unnamed project on the far end of the age spectrum is Taylor Hicks. The salt and pepper haired. Harmonica blowing season 5 crooner who garnered a legion of followers called the Soul Patrol. At 29, Taylor was the oldest winner of AI. Sadly, after his American Idol win, Taylor Hicks released an album that earned the dubious distinction of being the lowest selling debut of an AI winner, and his record label dropped him. He's since released two more albums and had a residency at Bally's Las Vegas from 2012 to 2013. She bangs. William Hung became a pop culture headline thanks to his off-key rendition of Ricky Martin's song during the third season of American Idol. Despite his painful lack of talent, William Hung garnered a cult following on American Idol thanks in part to his unbeatable enthusiasm. The one-time civil engineering student even went on to record three albums. But William eventually retired from the music business and, according to People magazine, he now works as an administrative assistant for the Los Angeles County Department of Public Health. On June 18, 2014, he wed licensed vocational nurse Jian Tang Philip Phillips won the 11th season of American Idol in 2012 despite suffering from painful kidney stones throughout the competition Philip Phillips has released two studio albums since his time on American Idol. His debut single, Home became a hit after it was featured by NBC in promos for the 2012 Summer Olympics. But it hasn't always been easy for the singer-songwriter, who filed legal papers in January 2015 to escape his oppressive contract with 19 Entertainment, the production company behind Idol. In October 2015, he wed his love of seven years. Hannah Blackwell then, 19, year, 
Old Kelly Pickler finished in sixth place in Season 5. Despite charming the irascible Simon Cowell, the perky Southern Belle, and roller skating waitress, was eliminated after her rendition of Unchained Melody. Don't feel sorry for Kelly Pickler. She went on to score a major hit with her debut single, Red High Heels, and released four studio albums. On January 1, 2011, she wed songwriter Kyle Jacobs. And just when it seemed like all the AI magic had fizzled, Kelly partnered up with pro Derek Hoff to win the 16th season of Dancing with the Stars. In 2015, she and her hubby starred in the CMT reality TV series I Love Kelly Pickler, which CMT renewed for a second season in March 2016. Betcha didn't know that season 7 winner David Cook actually went to the American Idol auditions to support his younger brother, who ultimately failed to make the cut after beating out David Arculita in a well fought finale. David Cook released his self titled Platinum Selling. Major label debut. Now 33. David has released three more studio albums and will spend the spring of 2016 on tour. The well of talented season 5 American Idol contestants runs deep. Catherine McPhee ended up as the runner up to Taylor Hicks after her McFeever fans were seemingly not enough to defeat the Soul Patrol. But never fear, the brunette beauty used her success on the show as a springboard into a successful acting career. Catherine McPhee went on to star in the critically acclaimed but short lived musical drama Smash which also led to her starring role in a series of 2013 paparazzi photos depicting a steamy makeout session with her then-married director, Michael Morris. Though Catherine and her husband Nick Kokas were separated at the time, the singer waited until 2014 to file for divorce after six years of marriage. Catherine can now be seen on the CBS drama Scorpion alongside her co-star and real-life boyfriend. British actor Illy's Gable Rubin stuttered won a relative squeaker over Clay Aiken in the second season of American Idol. That same year, he produced his first album, Soulful, which debuted at number one on the Billboard 200 and earned him a Grammy nomination since then. However, Rubin stuttered has struggled to maintain a balance in most arenas of his life. In 2011, the Velvet Teddy Bear filed to divorce Surat Azuri McCants after three years of marriage. He's also continued to struggle with his weight over the years and even competed on season 15 of The Biggest Loser in 2013. In 2014, Ruben released his sixth album, Unconditional Love, which reportedly sold just six. 000 copies Paul McDonald only finished eighth on season 10 of American Idol but he made major headlines thanks to his personal life. Life after American Idol seemed to be even sweeter for Paul McDonald than his time on the actual show. The singer met Twilight actress Nikki Reed while attending the premiere of Red Riding Hood in Los Angeles. And after a whirlwind romance, they tied the knot in October 2011. Sadly, it wasn't meant to be, they separated after less than three years of marriage in March 2014. Paul's latest EP, Slow Rising, was released on January 19, 2016 theatrical, flamboyant, and equipped with a multi-octave range. Adam Lambert was a storm that AI never saw coming. Sadly, Adam finished season 8 as the runner-up to Chris Allen in 2009. Adam Lambert released his first album, For Your Entertainment which debuted at number 3 on the U.S. Billboard 200 chart. He took home a Grammy for Best Male Pop Performance in 2011 and is currently channeling Freddie Mercury, he's serving as Queen's lead singer as the surviving members of the band tour. In early 2013, Adam parted ways with Finnish TV personality Solly Koskinen after nearly three years of dating it was reported that Adam was the highest earner of American Idol alums in 2015 beating out Carrie Underwood in 2009. Chris Allen bested Adam Lambert to win top honors during the eighth season of American Idol, and faced reports that the competition had been fixed in his favor since his time on American Idol. Chris Allen has scored a major hit with his single Live Like We're Dying and released four studio albums. In July 2013, he and wife Katie O'Connell welcomed their first child, son Oliver. 
On January 1, 2016, they announced that they're expecting baby number 2A17, year, old Jordan Sparks bested Blake Lewis in the season 6 finale of American Idol. The daughter of former professional football player Philippi Sparks. Jordan Sparks went on to release a self-titled platinum-selling debut album in 2007. She's since released two more studio albums and appeared in films including Sparkle. The inevitable defeat of Mr. and Pete and Left Behind. In September 2014, Jordan and Jason Derulo parted ways after three years as a couple. She moved on with rapper Sage the Gemini in mid-2015. Though they called it quits in early 2016 another second-place finisher who has fared pretty well for himself is Clay Aiken, who was bested by Ruben Studdard on Season 2. Fortunately, the loss did not hurt the career of the self-described Opie who signed a contract with RCA, which produced his multi-platinum debut album Measure of a Manitoba. Following American Idol, Clay Aiken has found much success in both his professional and personal lives. In August 2008, he announced the birth of his son, Parker. And a month later, he came out as a gay man in People magazine. The singer-actor also co-authored a New York Times best-selling book and performed on Broadway in Monty Python's Spam a Lot. In 2014, he made a run for Congress in North Carolina's 2nd District. Though he eventually lost to the Republican incumbent despite Fantasia Barano's painful past, the singer rose to victory when she won the third season of American Idol. She proved that nothing could keep her down following her win on AI. Fantasia Barano released her Grammy-nominated platinum debut, Free Yourself. The singer also penned a memoir, Fantasia, Life is Not a Fairy Tale, and starred in the subsequent Lifetime biopic based on her book. Though she's released three more albums since 2004, things haven't always been easy for the singer. She allegedly had an affair with a married man in 2009 and was hospitalized for an aspirin overdose in 2010 after he reportedly ended their relationship. Luckily, she's since bounced back, in 2011. Fantasia welcomed her second child, son Dallas. And in July 2015, she married businessman Kendall Taylor.